Did you have an appointment? You did? Okay, what was your name? It's a beautiful name. Looks like we have you here for a 3 p.m., is that right? Okay. All right, before we get started, um, looks like it's been a while since you've been, came here. Do you have any issues going on with your eyes that I need to know about on the front end before we dive into this exam? Okay, a little bit of dryness going on. <clears throat> okay, well that's no problem. Pretty typical this time of year, so. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll take a look at it for sure. So. Dryness and the eye. Beautiful. All right. So as far as your vision goes, do you think you've been seeing okay compared to last time you were here? You think your vision's improved or declined at all? You think it stayed the same roughly? Okay. All right. Well, first what we'll do is take a look at that eye that's bothering you. Um, try to get that uh, taken care of first and foremost. So. What I'm going to do is get a pair of gloves on and uh, get my flashlight and we will pull down your eyelid, pull up your eyelid, take a look. Does that sound good? Perfect. How have you been lately? You been good? Good. I like to hear that. Uh, officially getting into summertime and spring area, so I am hoping to get in the pool a little later today. Okay. Okay. Let's take a look here. I'm going to get my flashlight out. Pull down your eyelid here. That was your right eye, correct? Okay. All right. That's for sure. I'm going to get my magnification out and take a closer look. Okay. Perfect. All right, here we go. So far, I'm not seeing the culprit, but we'll, we'll get to it. We'll find it. And appear to be at the bottom of that eye. Uh, potentially, when it's done, it's traveled to the top eyelid, which is good and bad news. Good because it's something very small, and bad because it's moved on us. So we'll uh, we'll pull up your eyelid now. Take a look. So I'm going to grab onto your eyelash. When I do this, I need you to just use your eyeballs to look down to the ground. Okay. Perfect. Here we go. Got to hold your eyelid here. And okay, so far, so good. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I see it. It's a uh, looks like an eyelash got stuck up in there. That's a very small issue. <laughs> <clears throat> and very normal. So, um, I've got a little blower here. I'm going to lift your eyelid again, okay, and see if we can't move it around. Then I'll just fish it out with my finger. Okay. Perfect. Here we go. Pulling up, 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 up. All right, and it looks.
looks like we're able to move it down. Stay there. Perfect. Got it right here. Go ahead, go ahead and rub that eye. Not too hard though. Good. You wanna blow on it, make a wish? I'll do it for you. I wish for the pina coladas to be strong later at the pool. <laughs> okay. So, um, glad we were able to take care of that for you. Is it annoying you anymore? Not really, okay. Good, good. Take a quick note. Beautiful. Okay. Now, let's just go ahead and do your standard vision test. Um, I also want to, you know, take a look since you're here at the overall health of your eye into your sclera, pupils, and uh, optic nerves as well as any of the tissue around and uh, your, your tear ducts, um, your eyelids, and, and all that good stuff. So, won't keep you here too long, but just want you to know we're gonna do a, well, we're gonna take a good look, okay? All right, so, typically what I like to do to start this is uh, get my light, and I've already taken a look at that right eye, but we're gonna take a look again. I'm gonna check the overall health of your eye, okay? And I'm gonna lean a little closer, okay? Perfect, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm pulling down that right eyelid again. Looking at your bottom lid here, into your tear ducts, everything is nice and pink, just like it should be irritation in that eye with um, a little redness vascularity but that's just from you rubbing it I'm sure and take a look at that upper eyelid now overall health of the eyelashes and eyelid look great not seeing anything to be concerned about at all and taking a look now directly into your pupils. Dilation looks nice. Overall eye health looks nice. And go ahead and take a quick look to the right for me. You're just using your eyes. Yep, perfect. Okay. Yep. The sclera is looking very healthy. Your eyes are white, like they should be. No signs of irritation or inflammation, so that's good. <coughs> Excuse me. So your right eye is looking fantastic. Nothing there to be concerned about. What I'm gonna do now is uh, get in close again, take a look at your left eye, just to make sure, again, that the health is good, all right? left eye, pulling down your lid, taking a look at your bottom lid here, everything's looking nice, nice and pink, like we'd like to see, your tear duct looks good and healthy, free of obstructions and blockages, and go ahead and take a hard look to the left for me with that eye, your sclera, it's looking nice. Your eyeballs are nice and white. This one has less irritation, vascularity, so that's good to see. Um, gonna go ahead and pull up your lid now and take a look at that top eyelid here. Okay, yep, all is good here and. Well, as it should be, let's take a look at this pupillary response here. And so far, so good. Good, okay. Beautiful. <laughs> 
Okay, so what I'm going to do, we are going to do a vision test. I'm going to get my ophthalmoscope out, which is just going to help me look into the back of your eye with the slight magnification so that I can take a look at your optic nerves and see the overall general health of the back of your eyes. So it's in my kit here. Let's just be one minute. <clears throat> Beautiful. Okay. All right. So quick vision test while we're here. Okay. So I need you to, with both eyes open, take a, a look at line five for me here. Read that left to right. Well done. Good job. Let's take a look at line six. One more down. Read that one right to left for me. Okay. How about line three, excuse me, four left to right. Good job. And do you think you can get that bottom line there? It's really small, I know. Okay. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is cover up your left eye. Have you do the same thing with your right eye open, okay? Good. Place my hand over your eye here. All right, can you read that third line down for me? Beautiful, good job. And I'm gonna cover your right eye now. Do the same thing with your left eye. Can you read the fourth line down for me? Good job, great work. Perfect, so everything's looking good for you there. Um, just like we'd like to see. And really quick while we're here, as always, can you tell me what color that is there? Good. And how about that color? Good. Okay. Green. Perfect. All right. All is well in the world with the snow chart. So, well done. Now, what we're going to do is take a look into your eyes with our ophthalmoscope. Um, and I'm going to also do a series of tests um, just to test the, the uh, ability of your eyeballs to track um, in correlation with the pupillary response of your eyes. So you'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute. But first, let's just do this test. Okay, now I'm going to pull down your eyelid here. I'm going to get a little closer, take a look into your eye. Look again here in my nose. Good. Good. Okay. Optic nerves looking healthy in your right eye. Let's take a look at your, excuse me, your left eye. Let's take a look at your right eye now. Okay. Just focus on my nose. Good. Pulling down your eyelid here. And into the back of your eye. Looking at the health of your optic nerve here. Very healthy eye. The pupil is dilating like we want to see. Contracting, expanding. 
bit closer with the light here. And wonderful job. <clears throat> okay. So what I'm gonna do now, I've got a compound that's, uh, it's, it, what it does is it dilates the pupils, um, but it doesn't sting like most, most times. It's a very light um, compound. So what this is gonna do is allow me to look better at the back of your eyes. Um, as well as test your eyes under stress. So, um, particularly it's going to affect you, um, you know, driving at night when lights come into your eyes, if you have any kind of stigmatism or anything like that, it might be difficult to see. So I'm just going to do a series of tests with your um, pupils dilated just to see how you respond to light sources and see if you need to get any sort of corrective um, vision uh, op uh, optics or anything like that, okay? <clears throat> just need to mix this compound up real quick. You're doing a good job so far. Keep up the good work. It's not going to sting, but go ahead and pull down your left eyelid here and look up. Good. Up, 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 up. Good. Up, 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 up. Go ahead and let that sit for a minute, then I'll wipe away the excess. Good. Beautiful. Okay, now we're gonna do your <clears throat> right eye. Okay, look up. There you go. Wonderful. Told you doesn't sting. Let that sit, then I'm gonna wipe away the excess again. Excess fluid. There you go. Perfect. All right, how you feeling? Fantastic, okay. Let that sit for a minute and take effect. flashlight and my magnification. Let me know if any of this is bothering you and I'm going to test your people area spots under stress with this light. Okay, starting with your left eye here. finger for me. Good. All right, look at this finger. Good. Good. And a couple more times. Look here at my nose. Thank you. Good. Look at my nose. Good. 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 
Noticing a slight flare up here in regards to light response. And um, wiping away on the excess tears here. Good. Might have a slight stigmatism, but nothing to be too concerned about. We'll keep an eye on it. Just very slight. When you're driving at night, do the lights appear to be circular or do they appear elongated, like an like, like a oval? More elongated. Yeah, that's a sign of a stigmatism, but like I said, it's no real issue at this point. We'll keep an eye on it though. Let's go ahead and take a look at that right eye now. I'm gonna take a quick note about that though. Stigmatism, it's right in the left eye. Okay. And like I said, don't be too concerned. I have stigmatism in both my eyes, so it just kind of comes with age. We all get there. So, now I'm gonna take a look into your right eye. We're gonna do the same thing here, okay? I'm gonna get really close with my light my magnifying glass. Take a look at those eyes. Okay. Just look right here at my finger. Focus on this area. Good. And so far the pupil is responding as it should. nerves looking nice and healthy. Everything's good and pink and healthy as it should be. I don't see any issues at all here. Slight redness from that obstruction we had earlier, but nothing to be concerned about. Good. That's nice. Okay, now same thing here. Just look here at my finger. Good. Testing your pupillary response here. Good. Good. Look here at my finger. Good. 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 Yeah, we're just seeing how your optics, excuse me, your pupils respond when we introduce the light stimuli to the field of view. So everything's looking nice. No concerns here at all. Um, do me a favor, let me know whenever you can see my fingers entering your field of view. Do me a favor, focus on my nose, and let me know when my fingers enter your field of view. Good. 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 Perfect. Good. I get closer. Same thing on this side. Good. 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 Yeah, your eyes are working like they're supposed to. No issues here at all. Let me know when my finger moves. Point to which one moves first. Make a quick note here. Pay 
basically just making a quick note to keep an eye on your um, your uh, stigmatism. Uh, just to note where we're at today so that if you come in or when you come in next time, if it's gotten any worse, um, we can note that. Or if it's improved at all, we can note that as well. Um, part of my job is to keep an eye on your overall eye health. So um, taking notes is important to me, logging information to figure out um, you know, where we, where we were before and where we're going in the future. So that's good. How we want to treat things and et cetera, et cetera. So all is well there. I see no concerns at all. Really quick, have you been uh, feeling or noticing any issues as far as soreness, swelling or anything like that? No? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and get a quick physical feel around your eyes just to, uh, you know, see if anything's to be concerned about, if there's any swelling or sensitive areas. So. I'm going to start on your left eye here. Tapping under your eyelid. Any issues there? Any sensitivity? No? Good. Right here. Your tear duct. Any sensitivity at all there? No, good, okay. Top eyelid here. Just a quick tap. Tap, tap, tap. Any, any sensitivities there? No, good. And tap, tap, tap here. On the bottom, any sensitivities at all there? of the eyes here, top eyelids, <sighs> seasonal allergies are killing me, but yes, my friend, everything on your end is looking nice, so to wrap it up, you had a slight astigmatism, you, you're developing one on these, but like I said, don't be concerned, as far as your vision goes, prime. Looks like your prescription hasn't changed at all since last time, and if anything, it's probably improved a little bit, so we like to see that. Um, the overall eye health is A+. Plus. Your eyes are very healthy. Um, you're doing a good job taking good care of them. Um, try not to rub on that right eye too much where that irritation was. I don't want you to get any swelling or scratch your eyes or anything, but... Um, the dilation is going to wear off in the next five to ten minutes, so you're more than welcome to just hang out here um, and relax. But I'm going to get you uh, wrapped up and we'll, uh, I'll get out of your hair, okay? Good. All right. So. you need from me let me know if not i'll get out of here good okay yeah sounds good well i appreciate you coming in um if you need me call my cell phone you know where i'll be later i'm gonna go hit the pool <laughs> perfect all right all right talk soon my friend all right bye now